everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Gemini's weekly guidance message for July 11th through July 17th. In this message, Gemini, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this week. We're going to see what's challenging you this week and where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Gemini, let's dive in and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Most important message here for Gemini spirit. What do my Gemini friends need to know? Gemini. There's definitely a situation present that's very challenging for you. And I feel like there's um, a lot of up in your head overthinking the new beginning you have currently presented with a particular person in your life. Now we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute. We have the Nine of Swords, the Fool with the Emperor energy. So this is almost as if there's a new beginning that's being presented, Gemini, but it's almost as if overanalyzing this, maybe. And how I'm seeing this play out is as a person that's coming back from your past and because of whatever's transpired in the past, you don't believe that this person has changed. We're going to clarify all of this here in a moment, Gemini. The challenge here is there is an intense connection here. And no matter how distant you make yourself, the tie that you have to this person is undeniable. Now, I do feel here, Gemini, an energy of walking on eggshells, trying to distract yourself, trying to focus on other things. But I definitely feel here, Gemini, that this connection is something that you're not able to get away from. Even if in the present energy, you and this person aren't communicating, aren't physically connected, I do still feel spiritually you and this person are connected. So let's clarify. Now, if you find the message is helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here with the Nine of Swords, the Fool with the Emperor energy. Please clarify for Gemini spirit. What do my Gemini friends need to know in regards to this Nine of Swords, the Fool, and the Emperor? Now in the past, Gemini, this person may have gone back and forth between you and another person. And maybe you still feel as if this person may be entertaining this other person. Okay, now obviously the reason why this is coming up is because this person is about to come forward or they have recently reached out. And you still feel like they're in the same energy. Let's clarify the sun, the lovers, the four of cups for the challenge. Yep. So there's been a new new beginning that's been presented. Maybe this person has come forward. They've tried to apologize. Maybe they've tried to reach out to get your attention. But Gemini, I do feel like your wall is up. 
like you're guarded, like you're not allowing this person to advance things to the next level very easily, okay? Clarify the Seven of Swords. I do feel like this person does have the intention to try and make things work. Now, is there still conflicted energy from the past? I feel like this person has moved on from that. Okay, there may have been an ending that this person has experienced in regards to that other situation. But I feel right now, in this energy, Gemini, this person does want to come forward. They want to make things work. They want to have a new beginning. And this has been coming out very heavily in your reading, um, your readings lately. But I feel like you're closed off to this connection because of whatever they've done in the past. And again, Gemini, that's perfectly okay if that's the position that you're in and that's what your gut is telling you. By all means, walk away. Distance yourself from this person. But have an understanding that there's still a soul tie in this connection. So you're either A, going to need to do a soul tie cutting ritual in order to ease that feel of this person lingers um or you're going to have to hear this person out i feel gemini there is an intense connection that you're trying to ignore here to be honest with you that's how i see this playing out and even if you do try to disconnect something tells me this person is always going to show back up in your energy Okay, they're always going to come back around trying to present themselves one way or another. Okay, so let's pull a few cards out here for your advice moving forward. Now again, guys, if you find the messages helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. I do feel here, Gemini, that there is has been a distance here between you and this person, but this connection lingers. Like you both feel this con intense connection between one another and uncertain on how to make this work, how to bring this together because of whatever's transpired in the past, which is understandable. But that doesn't make this connection, this soul tie, easy to ignore. Okay, so advice, guidance moving forward here. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Okay. We have the King of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Hierophant, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, okay? So what I feel here, Gemini, is this person is going to come forward, they're going to tell you some truths, something's going to be revealed about something that's ended in their life, okay? Now this may put you off to working together because we still see the four of pentacles coming out here in the energy. Um, and I don't feel like you're going to be open to working this out with this person to coming together. Okay. To be honest with you, not in this energy, but I do feel an opportunity for closure. And I do feel like hearing this person out will help you to release some of those negative emotions that you have when it comes to this person. Now, will that set the stage for you and this person to come back together in the future? It's up in the air. Gemini, this could go one of two ways. Um, but I do feel here in this present energy, you're not ready to hear this person out. You're not ready to come together with this person. Even if you were to allow this person to come into your energy field, there's still a lot that you're holding on to that would cause disruptions. I'm just being honest. I'm telling you what I'm seeing in the cards. Okay. This person does want to come together. They want to make this work. Um, but there is a standoffish energy. Like, will Gemini be open to this? In this energy? Not. I do feel like there is a distance here. You and this person are kind of at odds right now because of the position that you're taking but there's still something that lingers here and it's hard to put your finger on it. It's the connection. Okay. So if you want that lingering feeling to go away, the best thing that I can recommend Gemini is a soul tie cutting ritual. 
okay because i do feel like this lingering energy it's causing you to feel stuck it's causing you to feel stagnant like you can't move forward but you don't want to go back either okay so something needs to be done to ease that Full of Soul Truth message to sum up your reading, Gemini. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. From whom can I release my judgment right now? Judgment closes our hearts to truth and separates us from love. It binds us to our fear and holds us in shame. On whom are you placing judgment right now? Is it someone in your life? Is it yourself? Release the shackles, drop the expectations, and be grateful what, for what is. Today's soul action, look at the person you are judging as if you look, you're looking at a small child. See them learning and growing, falling down and making mistakes. See their desire to be loved and accepted. Add even more grace to open your heart to this truth. When I lift the judgment from myself and others, I uncover my own truth. I am loved. I am whole. I am limitless. And so are they. Beautiful, beautiful. So Gemini, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.